everyone so welcome to today's video today's video is going to be an exciting one i don't know what my hair I does so just ignore my hair and the any glare or reflection in my glasses today's going to be an exciting one because i'm going to be showing you my desk and my whole like colouring collection and like where i sit and just what's in my desk drawers and basically me colour and trolley would know by the title just basically everything colouring related that i've got i'm going to show you in this video so yeah i really hope that you enjoy the video and i thought i'd pop on and say hello even though i don't look the best but i can never do anything with my hair and i try to gel it down and now it just looks greasy but what you gotta do you just gotta be who you are don't you so if you want to see me colouring collection and me desk and everything then keep watching so this is me colouring area as you can see i've got me colouring trolley slash cart over here on the left i've got my desk which is from ikea it's the ikea mickey desk and then i've got me print and my computer on my desk there's me big massive chair that is always in the way then i've got me ring light on the right up there and then my tv is on the wall and there's a bunch of wires in that corner right there so that's it from like a far back glance so obviously he has me colouring trolley right there. I'll go in and show you up close what's on that at the minute. Well, what's always on there really. I've got you on the tripod because it would be extremely shaky doing it handheld. If you hear like this kind of noise, it's me on my chair. I'm moving myself around on wheels, yes, being lazy. And also if I do this freehand, my back will really hurt. So the tripod is better. But if you hear like weird squeaky noises, then you don't know what it is. Do you love all my cables down here? There's like so many wires and I have no idea what to do with them. There's just so many wires. <laughs> so if anybody is good at cable management and knows what I can do to hide all of them, then let us know. But this is a drawer, this is a drawer and this is a cupboard. I'm going to show you in here first and then we'll get on to the colour and trolley. But as you can see, I'm watching Carla's um, new video on our Cat Eyes and Cacti's channel. So to film my videos, I will just sit right here um, where this gap is. Obviously, I will move that keyboard on top of my printer. I've got this long sort of tripod thing that is attached to my desk right there. And then I'll just bring that overhead and film my video use that tiny space so that's why i want to get a bigger desk because there's only a small amount of space right there and then i will just shine the light i'll just shine my ring light on on the desk and i also have like these two i'll show you and as you can see right there i just have two mini ring lights but i only really use them if i really need them down there is just a box of all of my empty pens that I've had since about, I think since November or December, I think. But I had many more before that, but I got in a mood one day and just wanted to chuck them out because they were creating too much space. No, they were taking up too much space. And I just counted in that box yesterday and there is 22 jelly rolls that I've used up. So you can clearly tell that jelly rolls are my favourite. So that's all that down there along with the lovely wires. And then that white thing is just the extra shelf from the cupboard. Also, if you can hear like traffic, I do live right beside a busy road and there's cars going up and down all day, every day. I'm going to show you in this drawer first. So in this drawer, I just have some large Posca pens. So these are all here. I'll just take this out a minute. So I can slide this one forward. And this is all like me glitter. So I've got all my loose glitter here. There's a few stickles. I only have two left. I have diamond and gold. Then I have a glossy accent like the rest is just loose glitter that i got from home bargains so that's just all in there and i got these like clear container or like organizers from amazon ages ago i got them to organize my makeup but i repurposed them for me color and stuff so that's that side this is just like water that i use to like spray on me watercolor things and just in general if i need some water 
this black tin is the metallic is it the retail or the retail metallic water color palette that i hold in the what i got for christmas these are the swatches for both of the watercolour palettes and then this is the Meilang watercolour palette and it's a bit messy but that's those oh, that at the back there is just some printer ink just a random notebook and some post-it notes so that's where I keep those and if I just bring yours over this is just all of me paint brushes and stuff and just like this random little cup that i use for me water just me paint palette or oh, i also use it like to mix me glitter glue and then all of these are just the, the paint brushes that i have i got these ones i don't think i've shown you on the channel yet i just got these a few months ago it's just some watercolor brushes from amazon these ones are De La Rowney and then I just got this cheap set from Amazon. Zhu Ting is the brand, I don't know, they're just probably private labelled. But they're matched so I got them. They're pretty good, I think they were only like 7 or £8. Pound. And then, then I have just some like Arteza water brushes. Um, there's some... Oh, they're just random brushes, some like actual paint brushes, and then that's all that's in there, really. And in this one, as you can see, is just me Posca pens, all my other ones. I have the two different kinds. I hold all these in me what I got for Christmas video, so those are all in there but that's what is in here that's the Uchida deco color gold and then i also have in here not you i'm not looking for you um just me nail colors me nail color too i know like people hate like the sounds of like this this kind of sound and like you knowing you're opening packaging and stuff i know a lot of people hate that but like i love it so i don't know i'm sorry if the the noises get on your nerves but like that's just the noises things make and then in this little plastic tub thing it's them two hands glitter markers i don't really use them that often because i don't like the nibs but that's just where they where they are if i want them and this plastic tub came with like a diamond painting set. And that is everything that is in that drawer. So moving over to this one. It's just got a few diamond painting bits in it. These are all my current drills for the, the one I'm currently working on. And then these are just some wipes that I use to wipe down my surfaces. And it's just like spare brush pens and what are them little things called? The trays. And I've got like eye drops and stuff in there. And then moving on down to the cupboard, hopefully I can show you. Good, I'm going to have to like readjust the tripod to show you better. So on this top shelf, um, it's just three colouring books you've got. Camilla Derrico, Pop Manga, Mermaids and Other Sea Creatures, World of Wonder by Johanna Basford, and Romantic Country by Eerie, which is this one right here. And then he has just some bunch of different paper, just some random paper, some little file things. So if I take that out. So I'm just moving it to handheld, so sorry if it's a bit shaky. There's also a folder with some original artwork in it. And then these are just some PDF files. Right here. And then this is just paper. Just printer paper. And other paper, so that's just paper. <laughs> How many times do I want to say paper? 
so I know it's a bit of a weird angle but the PDF ones are just this is like a welcome pack that I got from Carla's um, Patreon this is Hannah Lynn Enchanted Halloween I had to like separate it into two parts because it didn't all fit in like one of these folders then I have Carla McGonna at Wee Wicked and just some um, just random stuff this is a Hannah Lynn one that I bought from an Etsy store and then these are body colours that I did with Misty from Country Girls Colouring Place. So that's what is kept on the top shelf for now. Trying to film these videos, or especially this cupboard, is like a workout. I'm just like in all sorts of different positions trying to get the best camera angle. So on the bottom shelf is just like extra books. I do have like a little like a little what's it called container bucket with some other books in up on the other set of drawers that I'll show you in a second but these are just my other books the the one that are in the bucket are mainly like hardback books like Maria Trolley, Hannah Carlson and there's some Rita Berman up there as well so that's like all of the ones that aren't on my trolley and then like that aren't kind of hardback or the, the ones that just aren't in the bucket <laughs> and aren't on the trolley so this is like all the other ones so if you can hear buzzing it's my computer and it annoys us so much it's really old but I got it for free off my uncle so can't really complain can I so I'll just show you what I have in this bit there's Colour in Heaven Neko Girls Special Deborah Muller Girlfriends can you say properly let us just there we go this is me leg so if you're wondering what that just big black thing is it's me leg but as i said i'm in different positions trying to show you these books so i'm like kind of like spread eagle on the floor right now so i'm kind of like sitting on the floor right now with me legs so there's one leg here and one leg over here but as long as you get to see the books so Neko Girls Special, Deborah Muller Girlfriends, I have me Misfit books here, there's Misfits 1, 2, 3, 4, no it's not 4, it's 5, I have 4 on me trolley so that's 5 and 6, it's annoying when they all fall down, stop falling down, then I have Christine Karen Mermaids. Is it annoying if my other arms here it is, isn't it? Then I've got Fairies 2 by Christine Karen. Fairy and Fantasy by Christine Karen. That is Daria Draws or Daria Kagasroy. I'm not really sure how you say her name. Colour and Beauty's Gorgeous Fantasy. Then a colouring chicks by the same lady, Daria Rose, I'm just gonna say. Um then I have From Halloween to Christmas by the same lady Daria. Then I've got me Jade Summer books. I've got Cute Witches Mermaids Fairies, Kawaii Horror, and Vampires too. Then these should be here. So then I have Kawaii Christmas, Grayscale, and oops, and um, Chibi Christmas, Grayscale. I had them in the wrong order. Then I have three Hannah Lynn ones. Let's just put you back here. So I have three Hannah Lynn ones. I have Princesses and Storybook Darlings. Victorian Darlings. Whimsy Girls Celebrate the Holidays and Festive Occasions. Then these three are April Amber. So I have April Amber Chibi Girls Unicorn. 
April I'm back, Chibi Girls Halloween and Chibi Girls Christmas. Then this one is 50 Christmas Elves by Camellia Angel Cova. These are books that I have that are just like books that I let other people colour in that I'm not really bothered about. Um, they're not like part of my colouring book collection, they're just spare books that I let other people colour in because I don't like people colouring it in my books. I know that may be selfish but I don't care. This is just a A3 sketch pad that I use for like backing sheets when I want to do painting or just basically when I'm doing backgrounds and stuff like that. So that is everything in this cupboard and now I'm going to have to get myself up off the floor <laughs> and then we'll go on to the colouring trolley. So if you can hear background noise me, mum and me sister like running up and down the stairs, there's people kicking off across the street so just ignore that. So as you can see I have brought the trolley out, I usually keep it around the corner of the desk but just for filming purposes so there's better lighting and everything, I've just brought it forward so I'll take you closer on each section of the trolley and I'll show you exactly what's on there. I don't know if I mentioned but that book over there is Coco Wayo Witches. I haven't actually done anything with it yet because I just got it yesterday. So on the side here I have my Lulu Mail books. I have A Million Magical Creatures, A Million Mermaids and I have A Million Unicorns. Then I have my colouring journal right here at the front. This is my swatch book. I keep all of my Carla Magana um, books on here. So this is, I don't know, my mind just went blank there. This is Macaroons Sketchbook. I keep saying Macaroons, Macarons Sketchbook. Then I have Spooklets Sketchbook at the front. And I just keep them, um, I have like this, I don't know, container thing with most of the books in, but them ones just didn't fit. So those ones were at the front. They're really kicking off across there. It's like I'm in the I'm in like two minds whether I want to be really nebby or I just want to film my video. But let's uh, proceed. So I have Eerie Patisserie. That is Rococo a go go, which is a new one. I just realised it was like off screen. So Rococo a go go. Then there is Bell Pipistrelle. I don't really want to get them all out, but like. It's going to be the best way to show you. Spooklets Volume 1, Hot Tropics, Desert Muse, Retro Deco, Stardust Space Lust, then Dark Garden and Spooky Sweets. This is a fashion circus but this is in a PDF version. I got these little files from Shein but I'm sure you can get them anywhere. This is all of me Carla Magana Patreon pages. Then I have two PDF books as well from Mariola Budek. I have Beauty Inspirations 3 and then I have Hair Inspirations Wedding that I haven't hauled yet. Then we've got Christine Karen Fairy and Fantasy 2. Fairy and Fantasy 3 by Christine Karen as well. And then also Christine Karen Worlds and Times or characters so worlds and times misfits number four as i said was on the trolley hannah lynn whimsy girls through the decades and whimsy girls at work oh and whimsy girls around the world and then the last few books i've got on here is molly harrison big fantasy coloring book <laughs> this book it's like I don't know how that happened but this book was trapped in there. So there is um, Molly Harrison Big Fantasy Grayscale and then Artsy Girls by Deborah Muller. And then the last one I have on my trolley is Colouring Heaven Fairy Topia. So that is all of the colouring books that I have up there. Let's just put them all back. So on this side here I just have all of my jelly rolls and there's also some micro like micron pens on here. Just like just two that I usually use for eye um eyelashes and stuff. 
and then just some pencils that I'm using at the moment and then this one has all of me jelly roll stardust and me eraser thing me jelly roll stardust and me pentel jewel hybrids is what's in there oh and also jelly roll metallics am i showing you this properly <laughs> basically my favorite gel pens are up there so that's everything on the top shelf kind of top tier of the coloring trolley and then i'll just keep moving it down until we get to the bottom so on the second tier down i just keep all of my pencil cases and this is also just a clear pencil case with some spare gel pens in so it has some spare jelly rolls and some spare dual hybrid so here i have my pencil sharpener from dale or doll whatever doll or dale i've heard it pronounced both ways this black small pencil case has me i'll just open everything so i'll show you so this pencil case just has me it's upside down <laughs> this pencil case has in me prisma colors and also me castle art pencils so this one has me polychromos in this one did i skip one no so these are all the polychromos colours that I have right there. And then I have in this large, I think you were a bit overexposed there aren't you? There we go. In this large um, flower pattern one I have my Arteza pencils. So let's, if I get the right angle hopefully. So these are my Arteza pencils. I'm trying to make sure not to drop them because I'm trying to see the screen and also show you at the same time. But it's a proven difficult. So anyway, these are my Arteza ones. You can still see them. And then this large purple one has my Black Widows in here so i have the i can't really hold these with one hand maybe so all of these are the dragon set the monarch set then the monarch set ends here the light skin tone set this is the cobra set um and then the scorpion set going into the black widow set and then I don't have the dark skin set, so them are the only ones I'm missing, but I have all the other ones from there. Hopefully that was filmed okay. So that's everything that's on the second tier. So down to the third tier. This is me like, by the way. So down to the third tier. The lighting keeps being weird, but anyway. So in this pencil case, I just have my Astra Pastello pencils. This is me Ohuhu, I think it's 120. Let's just have a look. Yep, me 120 alcohol markers, just the original set. Then in this like clear bag the ice cream van's out now everything's just <laughs> make a noise so in this clear plastic pouch i have me chromatech gel pens on the top and them are the refills so all of those are me chromatech gel pens the ones that i've got left and the refills i've got left and where's the zip for the bottom? Then in this part is all the pro markers that I've got. I don't have like loads, but I really like these, but they are a bit pricey. Um, so I don't have a lot of them. 
I am sorry if the lighting is all over the place in this video. It's like it keeps going dark and then light because it's like evening and it's, the sun is going down. But I've also got my ring light on so I've got light but it just keeps going all over the place. But that is everything I've got on the third tier and lastly on the bottom tier is just two marker bags. So I'll just get those out and then that will be everything except I'll show you the other books that I almost forgot about. So in this marker bag right here, but in this marker bag is all of me Arteza Everblend. Um, see, it's just too bright now. There we go. So these are me Arteza Everblend. I have some just regular Everblend. And then I think they're the Everblend Plus or Everblend Extra, something like that. Anyway, the Everblend, there's some original in there and then some of the brush versions. So that's what's in there. And then in the second one, I have all of me brush for oh, hoo-hoos. So the pastel set, the skin set and the, I think it's the 48 set, have the... Yeah, the 48 marker set, the pastels and the skin set. So it's still too bright, man. What is going on with the lighting? So I've turned down the ring light a bit to try and make it not so glowy. But here are the... I wanted to show you like the colour caps. So I think that's better. So there we go. Those are me Ohuhu ones. And then that's just what stays on the bottom. I'm going to insert this clip right here because I totally forgot to show you something else. I have this black pencil case right here. And this has all of me Arteza. I don't know, I think these are a bit too zoomed in. Is that better? I've got all of me Arteza, um, what they're called? Twi markers in here so literally i just forgot to show you this one thing so that's all them and i had them in a different part of my room that's why i forgot to put them back on my trolley when i reorganized it last time and moved stuff around so they are in this black case and i'm pretty sure that's everything and i really hope i haven't forgotten to show you anything else so scooting you over to the other side of the well, just around the corner from my room, my desk is like over this way. Hi. Um, obviously this is my mirror. And then I have the other books that I was talking about before that are in like this other sort of bucket type thing. I don't know what else to call it. But I've had to shut my window, I mean my curtains, because outside my window, like on the houses, there is like different street signs and stuff. So I thought it best to shut those curtains so i just have like the light of me ring light that's over this way but i'll just show you the books i think you can see anyway so i have me two rita berman books right here so this is the europe one and then the summer one the summer one then i have maria trolley mandolin i have luna and then i have nightfall then these are me hannah Carson books I have a Midnight Masquerade, Tears from the Forest Kingdom, Tears from the Witch's Cottage, and then Jewelry Box. And then the last book that I have to show you is, is Ivy and the Inky Butterfly. So that is all of the books that I keep in there. I just like to keep these separate because I feel like these are my fancier books. <laughs> so that is everything there. I do have like a few bits and pieces in this drawer right here. So in this drawer I just have my uh, Mod Podge which is nearly empty. There's just some tweezers that I use to take off the nibs. I know there's a lot of shadowing but I'll try and correct that later. Is that better? Um, then I have some isopropyl alcohol that I use to fill up my 
like sort of just to reduce my markers and then I have a bunch of these like plastic things pipettes I think they're called some random sticky notes in here is me um gouache roiling lang little like little gouache paints and this was just a box lid off me sister's perfume and then in this bucket I have more Arteza ever blends because when I first got them a few of the a few of the pens were dry so they just sent us like a whole new set so this is a like backup or just a spare set that I'm not going to get rid of just yet just in case I need them or I don't know they just live here um so that's what I've got in that drawer not very exciting and then down in this drawer right here is just my current diamond painting so I'm working on now and my other diamond painting that I need to hang back up on the wall or get a frame for and then I just have another diamond painting and just like the spare drills that I had off my first one so again nothing much exciting about that draw but I just thought I'd show you like the other bits and pieces that I have um craft wise so also in my bottom drawer I just have um my sketchbook like the bottom drawers beside my bed I have my sketchbook and I have um a a, men, a mandala book and just some random gel pens and stuff like that so that's it everyone i really hope that you enjoyed the video i really hope that you enjoyed seeing everything that i've got and if you want a buddy colour in any of the books now it's kind of like a colouring book collection as well so if you want a buddy colour in any of the books that you know i've got then let us know send us a message on instagram or leave us a comment it's best probably to send us an email if you don't have instagram or just send us an instagram message and that's it so i'm just gonna say thank you so much for watching if you're here till the end leave a purple heart uh, um in the not the description box chelsea the comment section so yeah that's everything if you did like this video then you're more than welcome to give it a, a thumbs up if you want to subscribe you're more than welcome to do that as well and if you want to know when i upload you can turn on the notification bell you all know how youtube works at this point so again thanks for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye Sky. Oh.